Because you're, you're going to struggle to get that $2 million. You're not going to get that $2 million. I'm sure of that. I'm 100% sure. So you're not going to get that $2 million. You're not going to get that $2 million. You see, Minister Marian uh, put up a GoFundMe, you see? And I see it circulate, and, you know? And the GoFundMe, it has said, she won $2 million for the Bill of Church and to create a ministry. Now, in my view, Two million dollars, US dollars, to start a ministry. It um, it sounds overly ambitious, in, if you ask me. And it sounds like it sounds too glamorous to me. It sounds overly ambitious. It sounds glamorous. It sounds it sounds mega. It sounds, it does sound, you know. Yeah. And that, that is how it sounds to me. You see? That's how it sounds to me. Let me say, two million dollar for Billa Church. Wow. So, two million dollar for Billa Church. It kind of sounds a way still. In my opinion, still. But, you don't know, say, the minister always, always want to do things, you know, in a kind of, you know, when they call it outlandish, and that's the right word, help me out there. You know, it's like the minister thing of you always turn up, you know, in our, in our layman's term. The minister thing of you always move out there. So, two million dollars, when you tell people, say, you want two million dollars for go build a church, in my view, you know, that two million dollars they go turn off enough people, you know. Because you will go on now. Once people hear two million dollars and the man thinks there's a big mega church that you want to build, you know. You will say you want two million dollars to build a hospital. You know, so maybe you'll have a better chance of getting even more 20,000. Because you're going to struggle to get that two million dollars there. You're not getting that $2 million. I'm sure of that. I'm 100% sure. So you're not getting get that $2 million. You see? If it's you want $2 million to build one cancer, one cancer, um, you know, research facility or something, you have a better chance. If it's you want $2 million to you know, Do some things that can positively impact the lives of people. I think they have a better chance than two million dollars to build a church. When nowadays people not even go to church again. Nowadays people not go punch, not, not even go to church again. You know? People realize say, yo, they can stay right in their house and worship. They can stay up on their phone and worship. Them can go up on YouTube and join worship and and some people still want to go into the house of the Lord. House of the Lord to worship. But the people that say, oh, they want, you want two million dollars to go build a church. You know, the people are going to beat you. People are going to push back. People are going to mock you. People are going to ridicule you. People are going to chat you. People are going to comment all manner of things. People are going to say all manner of things because in this time of age, nobody now look for them and give you no support in a building a two million dollar mega church and the way how enough we grow and enough for we as jamaicans and even you know to a like a wider audience most of we were grew up in our church system we are accustomed to starting with one little church and then the members the members them grow so we we, we are come from the idea of starting one little thing, like I remember church on the rock was a little thing, and then they build it to this big mega mega church until they buy out the whole of the land around the sun and so forth. So in my view, 
if you really want to build a place of worship, and you want to build a place to get people to fellowship with you, in my view, you, know, you have to start small, you know. You have to tell the people, them, say, yo, you find one piece of land. And the land can't be too expensive now. It has to be like, yo, find one piece of land for, you know, maybe one $10 million. Or $15 million. You see? And here what you do now. You put all a tent. You have to you know, you have to put a tent upon all a piece of land there, you know. And you have to run out some crusade. You see? No, any riches are coming again. I swear to God, sir. No, sorry about that. Yeah, so I say, you have to come so boom and you have to buy a piece of land and you have, maybe you have to go in all your own pocket too, you know, and buy a piece of land, you know. You see? And when you buy a piece of land, you have to put one tent upon the piece of land, you know. Which, in my view, if Minister Mariana really want to build a church for, for fellowship, now that's so much she should have looked into a long time from she knows that she's going to take on this gospel thing and because and, you can't see that she loves preach. She really loves preach and you can't take that from her. She, she loves preach. She loves preach the word of God. You can't take that from her. She loves our God. She loves our Jesus. I just saw it in You see? But in my view, she has go about it the wrong way. You see? She has go about it the wrong way because he was going to know When you try to start something, you start, you try to start big and you try to start, you know, with this glamorous thing, yeah. you go running a whole heap of criticism and you go running a whole heap of pushback from people and, you know, them not really believe yourself. I really a church you want to build for win souls or a church you want to build for praise God. The man thinks you just want to build one big mega building where you can have. You know, for sure say you're rich. For sure say you're the on top. For sure say so forth and so on. So, in my view, the best thing to do when you want to start a ministry, you have to start small. You know what I mean? You see the piece of some fast food where you get and the piece of food where you get all the people I show them what you You have to just say, yo, you believe in the way I do. You believe, say, yo, you have to do this for God. You believe, say, so you have to win souls. You have to take your money there and buy a piece of land. You see? You have to take the money there and buy a piece of land. And when you buy the piece of land now with the money, you have to come and tell the people, them, say, yo, you see, the money we may get from some first, and the money we may get from this, and the money we may get from that, and the money we may get around this. Huh? I hate me use buy that piece of land, you know. So right now, the people are going to believe you, say, you really, really want be a place where you can fellowship. You see? And when you buy a piece of land now, you put one tent, you buy some chapel and you put one tent upon it. Because enough of the mega church when you see a Jamaica. Arab blur them church and enough of them church when you see a Jamaica with one mega church. And start in all some little place. The man when you Andrew, when you Andrew Scott, around a Pembroke Hall. You know how much time you kick him out of the building based on when you hear Eh? Yeah, man. You have to start somewhere, but you have to start small. And if you believe in it so much, you have to take your own money and invest your money in it. You can't come and tell the people them just after the bat say, Bloop, you want two million dollars to build a church. No. They may laugh off of you. They may, go, they may go mock you. They may go ridicule you. And the problem is, the problem is, right? They are not a poor, poor faith or poor money. No man, the whole of the church, them, the whole of the mega church, they want to see a Jamaica, they start small. Me don't know no church in Jamaica, but me just go see a big, you know, pretty building or one big spacious place or one big tavern. Me don't know no church or build so a Jamaica. 
For me, a little youth that grow me know the church and smart, then start some little tent, then start some little, some little, some little building, then start not some little classroom. And them, them grow, them grow, the people them know, the members them over the years are them people that actually keep them crusade and keep them, them where there's something with them, with them, the harvest and all them things there. And raise money and start build on the church. And some of them actually move from one location to another location. You see? They move from one location to another location. And, and so they go about it, building the church where them, where, them, where them aspire to build. But if you aspire to build a major church and you just come and dash it on the people them, so boom! We want to build one two million dollar church. People broke nowadays. People don't have no money. We still in a recession and all them things. Nobody has to really, really, you know, encourage. And you're not going to have no, a lot of cheerful giver. As the Bible says, God loves cheerful giver. You're not going to have no, no help a cheerful giver. You're going to have two little people who come and give you some five dollars, some ten dollars, some twenty dollars. You see him? I call him check for you and care for you. You see? Nobody now go come, come. Right now the people them prefer take the money and give to Britney them over, over TikTok. They rather take the money and give to World Dog them. They rather take the money and give to them people rather take the money and give to all Miss Handsome them. And the next youth the world that talk politics. The people in Reda take their money and do them something there and get some, something for laugh about and something for something to entertain them. Pretty than and them people there. Them people there good at They pretty than right now put up something that she want. A hundred thousand. You know, if you run a little nurse, I think she must run a nursing program. And she must have a ton of nurse or something. If she put up one right now that she want a hundred thousand over a TikTok. Me, me feel more confident so she quicker for raise, raise a hundred thousand than you where I say you try to build a two million dollar church you go praise God because people don't see it as a necessity at this point in our life when people can just go to YouTube church people can go to Facebook church people can go to Instagram church people and, and there's a lot of things that turn off the people from the church what if a thing that turn off people from church when you look on the internet, you see all manner of things are going on in the church where people them don't want to go to church. The people them not interested in going to no church because the people them feel like say, when they go to church, they are come under so much military orders and them are, everybody are watch them and everybody are force them and everybody are, are feel like they have to command them and all kind of things. You look in a church nowadays, you see pastor give back people money, say, all this, all this, a thousand dollars I want, a two thousand I want. A ten thousand me want, a hundred thousand me want, and them things that turn off the people them. You understand me? I say. Me see a video today with the pastor woman. I tell the people them say, she want eight thousand dollar for the woman start singing. But it's not like them. I say, give what you can because she is a good singer. Them them not make the person. It's a difference when you make somebody sing, and then you say if you appreciate and you were, and you were blessed. If my mother church. I remember our church, we used to go to church with my mother. My mother type of church, you know, the person sing, and if you were blessed by the singing, you can give what you, you have. Nowadays, another day you're in a church again. Nowadays, you're here. Just bring on the money, come. Me no want no five dollar. Me no want no hundred dollar. Me no want no two, two, two hundred dollar. A ten thousand, me want you. Bring five thousand, come, and people are call you by your name. People are call out people by their name. Brother Brown, yeah man, bring 10,000, come right now. The Lord tell me if you tell you if you give me 10,000. And them things, they are turn off the people them out of the church, brethren. Enough of them things, they are turn off people out of the church. So people at a point now, in, a, in a, our world, you know, where people feel like, you know what? I don't go to church, go, go partake in this nonsense. I go just praise God from rightish palm of them. I go just praise God, you know, by myself. And I decide thing there, you know. 
So when you come now, Mr. Minister, and you say you want to be that two million church, two million dollar church, you're not going to get the support there. Eh? You're not going to get the support there. Eh? And the problem is, and Rami even not talk about it, right? The problem is, you are very thin-skinned. Meaning, we all have, you know, things will trigger we and we get upset. But, but you are very thin-skinned. For a minister, for a minister, you make too much things bother you. For a minister, for a woman of God, we supposed to, f the, 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 more, the, the length of time we you do this now since you gone to church, mama. You have to be more firmer than how you stay right now. You can't be so touches and so thin skinned for a woman of God. You have to love them things that you look worldly and them out the way. You see what I say? You can't be so thin skinned because I watch this now. You watch what the people must say about you. You see? You watch how the people them attack and you react based on what people are saying. And when you do that now, it come in like say, people now I look upon it and I say, I never God tell you to do it in the first place. Because if it were God that told you to ask you two million dollars, you that it stand steadfast and say, when you, when you can go and talk, me I get this two million. Yeah? And no matter where nobody have to say, you that it stand firm and get your two million dollars. See? But notice, everybody oppose it and everybody, have, some of people are mock you. Some people are laugh, some people are this. And it get to you and, you, and, you, and where you do you suspend this up. You take it down, you know. You take it down and say, yo, you know, I'm not in front of nobody again. <laughs> you know, it's basically like, you know, say, you know, take down the sitting because the people ain't get to you. And now it just look like, say, yo, God never tell if you go out to go tell nobody if you ask you to tell if you ask nobody if you no money. You, if you believe in a way you do, mama, you cannot make, remember, say, we know, we are worldly and you know, we are turned back Christian, we are worldly and we are sinner, and you have to lift them sitting there to we. Tolerance is where you, you have to have better temperance and tolerance. Especially if you are on social media. You can't be so thin skinned, mama. He must have said, Mama said, keep on a little bit of money. <laughs> Yo, I can't laugh for blows, dog. Yo, don't give me no joke, man. Don't give me no joke, brother. I can't laugh, man. You see? We just try to chat to people and come. Just eat. I don't want to go chop and see. You see? You want to say, Mama said, we keep on a little bit of money. You see? <laughs> So, the fact that you make people and get to you to the point where you're, where you're going to take down the something, you give them another thing for say, you know, it's another thing you give them for talk about, you know. It's like you say, yo, my love you don't talk about me. My love, it's like, know me of where I wonder to myself, say. Me of where I wonder to myself, say. If you had done a sickness for people and talk about you, that me I wonder now, you know. Me I wonder if you if you if you do it for people and talk about you. Because me think no me I wonder say when you when you sit down and say you want two million dollars for Billa Church. It's like you just yo know, me feel like yo know, listen me <laughs> me think say we not tricky people you know, but me and this thing say we not tricky people. You know. Um um when you own bread. I said, I use one person and bash the church. I don't bash the church. This is where you come to me and bash the church. I don't say nothing bad about the church. I don't say nothing. You see, it's not just that for me. I don't say nothing bad about the church. I don't use no one person for, 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 for bash the church. I said, I see some video circulate to the pastor. I tell the people and say, then if you bring thousand and two thousand and twenty thousand, come. 
And in my mother days, church, when we used to go to church, my mother, the people, it was a different approach. People used to say, give what you have, because God loves a cheerful giver. You had to miss me about church. You may have church, man. When it was hard for me, so. Then, who not go do it, me dead and gone. Who not go bash? I will not go hot for. Me day attack, well balanced, and a reason. They had to miss me a bash church. Me not bash no church, man. You see what I say? Yeah. No. What me I say is, me really have fear one day. Your fam, your fam, your money. Um, if you go by the studio to the what voice, you hear, you hear, can you hear my voice so and so. Tomorrow, I'm going to be sitting there. Yeah, but I know still if the time is of the essence. You see? <coughs> yeah. So, so what I say is, I have to wonder if them people are nowadays, if we don't do that something here, I want to know the outcome, I want to just do it the same way. Because if you are going to put up, say, you want $2 million for the Bill of Church, you must expect pushback, you know. If me come out right now and say, I want $2 million for the Bill sitting, then my people are going to say, how long in the music, take your own money and build it. People are going to push back at me and say, yo, $2 million. It's on a way. You have to say you need $2 million for the bill of school. You have to say, and you can't say $2 million US dollar neither. $2 million. You're crazy. People are going to say, you know what, Jamaican money dollar that? You think a little bit of money that people? A whole heap of money that we are talking about, you know, $2 million is a little bit to a $2 million, you know? A whole heap of money that you know, people. Right now, if we get 2 million US right now, you know, so 2 million US can turn me into a billionaire right now. We can take 2 million US right now and turn a billionaire. We can turn 2 million US right now in a 10 million US in a less than two years. 2 billion, 2 million US right now, we can turn that in a 10 million US in a less than 2 years. Worse, the real estate market are boom so right now. Yeah. Me I go take... Me I take one... 750,000 out of it, and me I go buy one piece of land. Prime piece of land me I buy. And the next 1.25. You see? Me I, me I take the building out of the ground. Me I leave the building out of the ground and then I start collecting people money. You see? And me I go make deal with some people where I can give them. Like me I go find the people, the investors, and I go say, yo, I can give you five rooms at this price. And we can get the next Monday 10 rooms at this price. 2 million US dollar right now, we can turn that in a 10 million. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Easily, right now, with the way the, 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 the market are run. Well, if the market crash for me, you know the process, then we get checked. You think the market can dip rapidly for you, you can just get up tomorrow morning and everything change. You see? So we have about 2 million dollars. 2 a whole heap of money we have to about bridging. We are talking about over 300 million Jamaican dollars. Is the man say? So I think so when somebody come forward, when somebody come forward and make them strong statement, the virgin, you have to expect say, you have to get pushed back. And if you don't solid, if you don't firm, if you're not firm, Bridgin, you're, you're going to get frustrated. And, and you're going to change your mission, you're going to abort your mission. You know? 
You have bought a mission and you have to say, all right, me will do it myself. It's like you have two people and say, yo, you know, watch me, watch me do it myself. Like, you can't prove, you can't do things out of vengeance. You can't do things to prove to people, say, yo, one never helped me, but look how me do it myself. That is not, in my view, that is not of God. Because if it is of God, it have to have a level of humility. When things is of God, brethren, when things are connected to any form of godliness you are dealing with, it has to be, you know, with a level of humility. It must come with a level of humility, brethren. It can't be, yo, who no never helped me? So just watch me, I go do it myself. Oh, 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 oh,